Nothing makes me happier than a pretty spring dress. I honestly cannot think of anything better. Like nothing puts me in a better mood than a pretty spring dress. This is a gorgeous Nasty Girl number that I featured in a vlog a few weeks ago and I kind of put it in my wardrobe and kind of forgot about it, I'm not gonna lie. And I've just brought it out today and gone, why have I not been wearing this non-stop throughout spring? It is so, so pretty. The lilac tones just sit so, so nicely on my skin. But good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the vlog. So today, today I'm in a very, very good mood because I'm feeling all the spring vibes. We've had a little bit of bad weather recently, but I feel like the sun has been poking its head out a little bit today and I'm totally, totally here for it. I just love how pulled together a spring dress makes me feel. And this one is just gorgeous. I'll link it down below. So on the petite section as well, so it actually fits in length in terms of like being a midi dress, like it's actually a midi dress on me, which is very, very rare as we all all can to attest for but you might notice behind me there is a couple of little packages sitting there i have a few new things that have arrived this morning that i'm really really excited about that i wanted to go through with you guys unbox with you and show you what's new in okay so as i said a few new pr pieces that have arrived that i'm very excited about and i thought i would unbox them with you and show them to you guys because i know you're gonna be just as excited as i am so the first one is from nars and they always send such amazing press releases now this is to celebrate the new radiant tinted moisturizer it's an spf 30 which is absolutely fabulous and in summer i definitely would say that i live in tinted moisturizers rather than like full-on foundations i usually go for like um CC creams or tinted moisturizers like the It Cosmetic CC cream would probably be the thickest foundation that I would wear and then just for like day to day I like a really thin foundation especially now that my skin is just so much better than it was I'm a lot more confident in it and I feel like I'm a lot more confident in wearing sheerer foundations so we've got a little box here which I'm really really excited to see oh so we've got them in here have they sent all shades oh they have as well well, I'm definitely going to be giving away the darkest shade because there's no way that is going to suit me. I reckon this might be my non-fake tan shade and this might be my fake tan shade. So they, does it say this? No, it doesn't say the colours on it. Let's get out this one because this one's probably going to be the most me shade. So this is in Norwich Light 1.5. No, this is definitely going to be not my non-fake tan shade. Let's get out the medium one. <laughs> This is Gotland Light 1.2. So it's not actually, that's all, That's always so weird when like the lighter one is actually 1.5 and the darker one's 1.2. Is that right? Do you know what, it's so funny, look. It looks like there's like no difference between those two. 1.5, Okay, I've worked it out now. Just remembered that I had a message from Nars saying that they've sent me my shade colour matches. So clearly these are just the three shades that are going to match my skin tone best. So they're not actually like these shades because I was thinking like there is no way that that is going to um, colour match me. So we've got Groenland 3, Nor so Groenland Light 3, Norwich Light 1.5 and Gotland Light 1.2. So these are three different shades. So basically like depending on how tanned I am, if I want a little bit of a glow, and we can kind of like test it out. Um, oh, this looks like it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Let's just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Yeah, so as you can see, this is light three and this is definitely just like my fake tan shade. I think that's a really, really nice color match. And as you can see, it's quite lightweight and it's quite um, just like really light. I like it, let's blend it in a little bit. Oh, that blends really nicely. And actually a little bit goes quite a long way. Oh wow, that is literally just like disappearing into my skin. That's amazing. Scent wise, it's got a really citrusy scent to it. I don't think I've ever had a foundation with this kind of strong citrus scent, but look at that. That is like blended in so nicely to my hand. That is actually amazing. So I'm really, really excited about them. Obviously, already got my makeup on today, so I can't try them out today properly, but tomorrow, I'll give them a bit of a test run and see and I will report back on what I think of these because first impressions, 10 out of 10. So thank you so much to Nars for that. And the next we have 
some goodies from Laura Mercier. And I was really upset because I was actually couldn't attend the masterclass on this. And I love the Laura Mercier masterclasses. They are so, so great. I've learned so many good tricks and like tips from their masterclasses. They are really, really great. And they just kind of like give a little bit of a deeper dive into how to use the products. So that it means that when I come back to you guys, I have a much better understanding on how to use them. So these are to celebrate the primers. And we have four different primers here. There's one that my mum loves, which I think is the blur. It's either the blurring or perfecting. Perfecting, perfecting. I'll have to message her which one it is because I know for a fact she's gonna to wanna to steal it off me. This one looks like it's gonna be the best one for me. This is the illuminating primer. And you know that anything with the words illuminating, glowing, hydrating, radiating, those are the words that I look out for in my products. So it's in like the darker pink packaging. And honestly, the Laura Mercier primers, do you want to focus? There we go. The Laura Mercier primers are just so, so stunning like honestly one of the best primers probably the best primer that i use on my skin it's just like so not tacky but just makes you really feel like your makeup sticking to it and i find that with primer and then a fixing spray over the top that is like for me the only way that i can kind of like survive mask wearing i'm not gonna lie to you so yeah really excited about those so as i said we've got the illuminating we've got the perfecting the blurring and the protecting which i really really love i wonder oh that's why it's protecting because it's spf so we've got spf 30 in this one so basically this is going to be a great summer primer if you don't have any spf in your foundation but if you're going to pair it with the nars tinted moisturizers this also has spf 30. i really love it in summer because they always bring out loads of like products with spf in it so i will link all of those down below for you guys to shop and then lastly we have a little delivery from typology which i thought that we could just open it together so we've got three products here and what i really like about typology is just how like natural their products always feel like really really kind of like back to basics so this one is a face mask it's a charcoal and organic nettle face mask i don't know if i like the sound of that it says face mask with stinging nettle extract pine charcoal and green clay i'm not gonna lie i don't know if that's for me that sounds really bizarre um the next one then we've got a face mask with organic red fruits acid this sounds more up my street this is like an exfoliating mask so really really great once a week just to kind of like get rid of the dead skin cells especially if you fake tan like me and you often end up with kind of like a bit of patchiness and you just want to kind of like strip back to basics and then lastly now this one is called 10 and the reason why is because it is a 10 ingredient body moisturizer which is so so cool that there's literally just 10 ingredients in there so i think this is a great size for like a bit more of a travel moisturizer um oh i love these kind of like i love how these kind of moisturizers look when you use them a bit and they've got a bit like battered about and they're sitting on the side so this i might keep this actually as my beside my bed moisturizer because i always love moisturizing my hands and feet just before i go to sleep let me smell this it's not got a strong smell actually. Let's use a little bit on the back of my knuckles. Oh, now I can smell it. That's quite nice. It's quite like planty, if that makes sense. Do you know what? This to me smells like a vegetable patch. It's, I don't know if that's a really weird way to describe it, but that's just that's what i'm getting from this but i'm liking it i am liking it so so yeah little bit of a beauty pr unboxing for you there guys i honestly i'm just so grateful to like be able to get this stuff and be able to show you it and test it out if you want to see anything a bit more in depth like i can do a little bit of a tutorial using the tinted moisturizer because i think that might be really really nice so let me know if you guys want to see that i might be able to do that for the next vlog as i said at the start of the video Nothing makes me happier than a pretty spring summer dress, especially like a ditzy floral spring summer dress. And I've had a new delivery arrive that I wanted to show you. Have you ever seen a petite telly haul with so much color? Oh my word, this is how you know that spring has really sprung. So we've got some gorgeous dresses here that I wanted to try on with you guys, show you what they look like, because I think you're gonna be really surprised at the retailer that I have bought these from. So, I have been doing a little bit of shopping on Pretty Little Thing, and it's and it's a brand that I don't think I've bought anything from in years. Like, I think the last time I might have done a Pretty Little Thing while I was at uni, so lifetimes ago. <laughs> but 
I actually saw a dress and it was on someone's Instagram. I can't remember who it was now, but I really, really liked it. And she tagged the brand and it, I saw it was Pretty Little Thing. And I was like, wow, I never would have guessed that dress was from Pretty Little Thing. I guess to me, PLT is a brand that's very... Like I just picture Molly Mae when someone says pretty little thing, like her kind of style, very like edgy and cool and like really on trend and those kind of like Love Island girls. And I think we all, we can all see that that is not my style at all. But I went onto their site and I noticed that they just had the most beautiful collection of dresses. So I was like, I just have to do a little dress haul. We can try them on, see what they look like, see what the quality is like and stuff like that. Because I know you guys know that I love a lot of like high street brands. Like I shop a lot on Misguided and Nasty Gal and ASOS. But Pretty Little Thing has just been one of those brands that like, I don't know, it's just kind of slipped under the radar for me. So, I'm going to start with the dress that I think is probably going to be my favourite dress of the haul. And it's this stunning little black number. Now this, is it from the Petite range? Yes, it is from the Petite range. So it's a petite mini dress with this gorgeous balloon sleeve detail. And I just fell in love with this. Now... If you've been following me for a while, you're probably ticking off in your head the bits about this dress that Ellie is going to love. And that is the square neckline, the puff sleeves, and the fact that it's petite. So it's actually going to fit nicely in length. And I feel like this is going to be the kind of dress that you can wear to so many different occasions. Like you can wear to garden parties, you can wear it for drinks, you can wear it on a night out. Because hopefully we'll be able to do nights out soon. You'll be able to wear it dressed up, dressed down with trainers. Like I think there are so many different ways that you can wear a black dress like this. Especially like a summer black dress because it can just be styled so so many different ways so before i ramble on anymore let's try it on i'll show you what it looks like because i just think this is absolutely gorgeous i knew from the start that this dress was going to be my favorite one in this haul and it really really is this is utterly gorgeous i love it so so much i love the fact that it's petite so it means that it fits really really nicely in length it comes like mid thigh which is absolutely perfect and I just love the like square neckline. I think it is just so, so gorgeous. The fact that it's petite as well means that it sits really nicely unless I pull it on my shoulders. It means that it's like not going anywhere. You know, if I do that, I don't feel like it's gonna fall down. And I love the sleeves. The sleeves are so, so gorgeous. They've got caught on my uh, bracelet there. They are so gorgeous. It's like full length. It means that it's like so versatile. You can wear it, you know, dressed up with like some heels and a little bag. Uh, and put on some amazing jewellery or you can literally wear this with a pair of trainers a crossbody chuck your hair up and wear it to the park like this is a, such a versatile dress i love it so so much and because the sheared detail it's really really comfortable like it's so stretchy look at that it's so so stretchy so it means that no matter what you're doing what you're eating where you're going you will be really comfortable in this dress now this next dress i was very interested by because looked really really cool on the website it looks a little bit different in person but i think maybe start up with the right accessories this could look really gorgeous and it's this stunning like bardo style lacy again mini dress i love this it's got this stunning like two tiered detail to the skirt which i think makes it look a lot more expensive than it is and i just love this kind of like overlay for the bardo sleeves i think it's really great if you're someone like me who you don't really love the tops of your arms like i don't really love this kind of section of my arm it's a great way to let your kind of like chest be out your shoulders be out while still covering that section i think i picked these all up in a 10 um yeah this is also a 10 i will link them all down below as well with the sizes attached just in case there are any disparities but i think they are all picked up in a 10 so yeah really excited about this one i feel like this could be a really really cute spring summer dress i won't lie guys i actually like this dress a lot more than i thought i was going to it looks nicer on than it did on the hanger and i know that with bardos it's always really annoying to show you because obviously i have to like hold the camera up here so it doesn't quite sit flush on my chest but i do really really like this dress i love the fact that because it's got a nude lining it kind of looks quite sheer and see-through but it's not so i know i always get questions about like underwear you could probably wear whatever color underwear your little heart desires red pink black you go girl they are not going to see it through this dress which i really really like i love the fact that the waist sits like really really nicely it makes me look very small there is an ambulance going past and yeah it's just really really impressed me i definitely was not expecting to like it as much as i do so would definitely recommend picking this baby up okay now we're moving on to the floral numbers and i saw this one online and i was like this is just gorgeous this looks so much more expensive than it actually is does it have the price tag on 
it doesn't but obviously it's linked down below so go and have a look because i just remember thinking that looks like you could add another zero on the end to that dress it is stunning it's actually really heavy which again makes it feel really really high quality this to me is a bit of a lydia millen dress like i can totally picture her wearing this and i think this style up with like some espadrilles maybe a cute little basket bag it's such a cute little style for spring summer so i just love the pink tone in this like i think even with my skin tone this is going to work really really well paired with the floral detail it is just so so gorgeous now unfortunately we've gone from one that I didn't think I was going to like and ended up loving to one that I thought I was going to love and don't like at all. It just sits really weird like on my waist just I don't really know what this ruffle's doing. I don't really know what these ruffles are doing. The length is a bit weird. I mean you can pretty much see the entirety of my bra yet it still feels a bit tight. <sighs> Such a shame because I had really high hopes for this one, but this one is just a big fat no from me. And I'm sure you all know my favourite colour for spring, whenever I am trying to add a pop of colour into my wardrobe, is blue. I just find it so, so flattering. It sits really, really nicely on my skin and just looks so spring-like. So I really, really like this. It's got a really cute little, like, floaty kind of like tiered skirt which i think is gorgeous and this waistline looks stunning so hopefully it's going to really cinch me in and sit really really nicely again they've got this really nice like kind of puffed sleeve it's not too puffed so i don't think it's like too ott but it's a really really nice nod to the trend which i really really like about it and another one that i absolutely adore we've had a couple not so keen a couple i love and this is definitely one that i absolutely love this like blue with the red almost like berry detail is so so cute i don't know if it looks a bit wintry almost but i absolutely love it love the sleeves as well the like puff is always so so cute it's a little bit longer than i probably would have chosen for it to be like i would like it to have come up a little bit shorter but obviously it's not petite so i kind of was expecting it to be a bit long and i still think it is really really cute i love this waist this is like so cinching and just looks really, really expensive. I definitely think this dress looks a lot more expensive than it is. And I just love that about it. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is the first one of the haul that I am really, really questioning. Online, it looks really different. And I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting it to be this material. It looked like it was going to be a bit more of like a silky kind of like satin material. And it's arrived in its jersey. And I'm just looking at this thinking, I swear I had a night dress like this when I was about eight years old. And I can't get that out of my head. So I'll try it on and show you guys what it looks like. But I think this one is going to have to go back. Okay, so it does look better on than it did on the hanger. But it's just the fabric. Like, I'm just really not keen on it. It does really remind me of a nightdress that I had when I was about eight years old. And I'm not really about that. Also, the straps aren't adjustable. So as you can see, they don't really fit that well. I have to really kind of like pull them towards my neck in order for it to stay up. So, so unfortunately, this one is definitely going back. Did someone say we're adding a pop of colour to our wardrobes because we've got a red dress and red is not a colour I reach for often. You guys will know I don't think I own anything red in my wardrobe, but I saw this online and just, I was really gravitating towards it. So I thought, I just have to try it. It's got really, really gorgeous design details. The fact that it's got this elasticated waist means it'll be really comfortable while still sitting really, really nicely on your waist. I love the collar detail. I think it makes it look very informal and a bit more casual, whilst the puff sleeves and the frilly tiered skirt is just such a design feature I love in my spring summer dresses. So I'm very proud of myself for this. I think we can all give me a little round of applause because I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Ellie's in a red dress, everyone. Ellie is in a red dress and she's loving it. This is so, so cute. I love the ditzy floral detail. It looks almost kind of like oriental, which I think looks really, really cute. And this waistband is perfect for me because it really just cinches me in. I know that there's kind of like a very <laughs> similar style that I often go for when it comes to dresses with this like, you know, the waistband coming in, like a bit of a skater skirt and like puff sleeves. But it just really, really suits me and it sits really, really nicely on me. I'm never one to like kind of say dress for your figure or dress for like what's flattering. But if there is a particular style that you really like, that sits really nicely on you, that you're comfortable in, that you feel amazing in, by all means, go for it again and again and again. And I definitely think this is the kind of style that really, really suits me. So I would definitely give this dress a 10 out of 10. I'm 100% going to be wearing it a lot 
this spring summer it is just so so cute and hold on to your hats because we have another red number and i'm not gonna lie this is coming up on the viewfinder way brighter than it is in real life this is the epitome of the dancing girl emoji that emoji you know the one i'm talking about and i just saw it online and i was like i just want to be the dancing girl emoji for a night like that's just what i want this is absolutely gorgeous i have a couple of weddings coming up this summer and i thought this might be a really really nice wedding guest outfit or even just like a fancy date outfit maybe like date night with alex i could wear it for my birthday coming up I'm not entirely sure but i just thought it's too pretty not to add to my basket i'm just gonna say we are ending on such a high here you guys are not gonna believe this this dress oh my word i kind of feel like i wish i had like prom 2.0 because i think i actually would have worn this as my prom dress this is so so pretty so i've put it with heels because i won't like it's very very long like obviously it's not petite and even with heels it does kind of drape on the floor but it's got these really cute little um side slits for both legs so that they can both stick out and i feel like i look about eight feet tall <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not the tallest person in the world, but this makes me feel like I look really, really tall. I just love these like ruffle details going down. I think they are so, so gorgeous. And I love this neckline as well. It's got like a bit of a sweetheart neckline, which you all know I'm a big fan of. And I love the fact that you've got the straps here, but you've also got the bits going off shoulder. Again, covering up this bit of your arm that if you're like me and you're not so keen on it this is a great option for that so i think this is such a pretty dress to wear to a wedding or something a bit more formal this is just so so gorgeous so we had a couple that i wasn't so keen on but we have definitely done well in this haul there are a few that are going to be going straight into my wardrobe we have definitely finished on a serious high oh my god guys i've just come into our bedroom to put away some of the dresses and I'm standing in front of my dress wardrobe and I'm not gonna lie to you, it is literally full, like completely full, bulging almost. So <laughs> I'm not even sure if I have enough hanger space for these ones. I think it might be about time that I do a little bit of a clear out of some of my dresses and I might have to list a couple up on my Depop. As much as that breaks my heart, I think I need to start doing a bit of a one in one out rule because this is just getting ridiculous now. <laughs> right guys i thought i would just sign off this vlog here i've literally just come into my bedroom and it makes me so so happy that we can come in and sit here now and it's just like a really nice view behind me it makes me really really happy if you didn't watch tuesday's vlog then you will have missed our new bedroom tour make sure to go and check that out and you can see all of the updates that have been happening over over here because it like it's a huge difference i won't lie i didn't realize until i watched back the clip of the before what a difference this room has like gone through it actually blew my mind so make sure to go and head over there and check out that video but i'm going to leave this vlog here i hope you enjoyed seeing some new in dresses let me know which dress was your favorite in the comments below and if you got this far in the video i mean we all know what emoji you need to leave me the dancing girl emoji leave that in the comments so i know who's gotten this far because i always love seeing who manages to get to the end of my videos because i know god i do like to ramble don't i i really really do so i really hope you guys have had a lovely day please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye